What I dread more than surgery is having to strap my leg into the continuous passive motion machine for six hours a day when I get home from the hospital. And so my job was to set up patients with a CPM machine. I would fit their leg for it, make sure it was adjusted, and then boom, turn it on, and there you go. And of course you educate the patient, you increase it five degrees every so often, here's the controller, here's how you do it. And the problem with that is when you know, a patient would guard or it just didn't fit or whatnot. If it's not set up perfectly correctly, it doesn't really do what it needs to do. People compensate either through the hip, the hip moves too much, or it pushes back at it, uh, on it, and so the CPM would slide out. There are all kinds of problems with it. Coming home with a um, CPM machine, that wasn't really that helpful for me. With that machine, you're lying on your back and it moves your knees. The problem with lying on your back and having it move your knee is that when it comes back and your body resists, your hips automatically, you know, your back, everything kind of slides backwards. So you think you're progressing, but you're not. Some of the surgeons saw that they didn't get the results that it was intended to get, or in fact, um, cause worse results because if you're in it for six hours and you're constantly guarding and you're constantly causing trauma to that knee, it swells up more and, and you're not getting the results from it. And so the outcome studies show that it, it wasn't working the way it should and, and that's why we've deviated not using it. When I was in the hospital, they hit me up to that thing and I had to be there 24 seven, no. And it's very, very uncomfortable. And you can't roll over, you can't move, you're there. And when I had the knee replacement, they had it on me 24-7 when I was in the hospital. Came home, I used it a lot until it split. Then they, they told me to quit using it. While you're flat on your back, staring at the ceiling, the monotonous motion machine bends your leg. It straightens your leg. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Six hours of this. The police should strap suspects into these things. They'll confess to anything. Of course, with the X10 over last year, I haven't had one person tell me that they did not like it or that they had pain with it. More or less, I had people come in and say, do you have the X10? Put me back on that machine. I liked it. I want to use it. So, I mean, that, that, that slowly got us excited about uh, that potential just from that one standpoint. You add in the strengthening component to it and the biofeedback. Um, component to that and, and really the X10, the only limit to the X10 is our imagination. X10, back to full strength.